on the show before five o'clock, Matt Baker and that wonderful team of young men and women who have cycled all the way from Calais, all the way from France, uh, and they're heading to Salford, heading uh, through Shropshire today, lots of miles already under their belt, but it's been slow going, I believe, because well, there's just so many hills in the county, and it's very steep. They were in Clibri earlier on for their lunch, although that turned out to be sort of half two, three o'clock, so uh, uh, we wish them well. They're out and about on the roads. We heard from Paul Shuttleworth earlier on as they made their way through Clibri Mortimer. Uh, Kinlet School were lining the roadside as well. And uh, yeah, it's been a great atmosphere so far. So uh, it's going to be getting quite dark soon as well. Just looking, yeah, it's, p- it's pretty dark. Um, anyway, they are pushing on and heading to Bliss Till. You can see the one show uh, will be uh, at Bliss Till this evening. Uh, it's closed to the public, I should point that out, by the way. It is closed, so you can't just turn up there um, tonight. But you'll be able to watch that on the BBC from 7 o'clock and uh, learn about how their day has gone. And if you've seen them, uh, let me know, because we're trying to sort of plot their progress. You can do that online, by the way, uh, through the Children in Need website. Search for search for Pudsey and the Rickshaw Challenge. Uh, so if you've seen them, let us know. 81333. Start your text with the word Shrop. Hopefully they will make it to Blistill in time to be on the telly. Rickshaw Challenge is cutting its way through Shropshire. A specially adapted rickshaw with some very special people riding it, led by the one show's Matt Baker, and he is loving There's it. So much respect, and actually the camaraderie that is between Team Rickshaw is really quite something because, you know, they've had their struggles in the past and they're talking to each other so openly and they have this bond, this incredible bond, and yet they've only been riding together for six days. And it's magic. They describe it themselves. It's like a family. Fantastic. Well, well done. You're now going to get some substance, a bit of refreshment. Yeah, yeah, a yeah. yeah. Bit of rest. I know it's amazing for anybody that has been out on the road and seen this kind of circus. That it's like a massive caravan of vehicles. They, so we've got our motorhome there, and we've got two cooks in there, Matt and Joe, and they feed the forty of us that are on I'm the road. Sure, I can smell garlic. The yeah, bread, yeah. There'll be some garlic bread there, definitely. But yeah, it's the food that keeps us going. People are throwing cakes at us and all sorts as well that people have been cooking. So thank you very much indeed for all of your generosity. And sorry if you've been stuck in a massive traffic jam <laughs> <laughs> and of course the one show tonight from Bliss Hill Victorian Town that's right yeah apparently it's a really small venue and we yeah. can't welcome yeah. too many people it is, it is close to the public but yeah, people will yeah. be able to it's see it's like a ticketed event on the telly. yeah yeah no exactly it's wonderful I'm, quite, I'm really quite excited about going there and having a little look around but um, we won't be there for too long we'll do the programme and then we jump in the bath get to bed really quickly and then it'll be up again tomorrow because it's our longest day actually tomorrow. There's two things I can recommend at Bliss Hill, neither of which are for athletes. One is the Victorian fryer that does handmade chip shop chips. And oh, the other really? is a proper sweet shop where they make the sweets on site. Brilliant. I'm going to ring ahead now and make sure that someone can get me some of them chips sorted before we go on air. That'll be magic. Oh, they taste even better, wouldn't they, after you've done all that cycling. Uh, more from the ar- amazing Rickshaw Challenge later in the show. BBC Radio Shopshire's Paul Shuttleworth has been tracking it in our radio car getting a flavour of the excitement and a flavour of big day for the One Show's team, Rickshaw, as they travel through Shropshire on their 423-mile challenge. And, of course, we'll be following their journey throughout the day on BBC Radio Shropshire tomorrow as well as they head out of the county and uh, keep heading towards Salford. And we've been following them all day today as well. You can uh, keep up to date with their progress online. There's a Children in Need uh, tracker. You can go on the BBC Children in Need website and find out where they are. According to this tracker, they are currently heading. They've uh, crossed the A458 uh, just to the um, well to the east of Morville. They've crossed over and they're heading north towards Horton, if you know that area of the county. It's a very, very small, narrow lane, and it goes off towards the Smithies, which then joins the uh, bridge north to Brosley Road around Linley. So that's where they're heading at the moment. Uh, there's, there's still a lot of hills, especially Linley. As you go from Linley Brook and you climb up Linley Green and towards Linley and the Dean and then onwards towards Brosley, that's yeah, it's not messing around the uh, the Shropshire countryside today in terms of where they're going. But uh, then they'll hopefully, uh, well, once they get to Brosley, it's all downhill, isn't it, to Jackfield. That'll be a nice rest for the legs. And then they have to climb out the Ironbridge Gorge and towards Bliss Hill, which, uh, worth reiterating, is closed to the public this evening. But that's where they're trying to be for the one show at 7 o'clock. I would say they're, they're going to have to step on it somewhat, although I imagine they're doing everything they can at the moment. Uh, if you want to uh, get involved, just head to the BBC Children in Need website, have a look on there, and uh, you can donate. bbc.co.uk is certainly a challenge for the rickshaw for Children in Need with all its ups and downs 
crossing side valleys of the Severn, let alone the climb from Ironbridge up to Bliss Till. They certainly have their work cut out. We hope they make it. Yes, there's John the One show at seven, so no pressure. Uh, at the moment, they have passed through the Smithies. They've joined the bridge north to Brosley Road. Uh, they've gone past the turning uh, to the Willey Estate, and they're currently heading through the Dean and on and up. It's a gentle climb from the Dean up into Brosley. Uh, they'll then uh, round the, the sort of quite tight bend into Brosley.